Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Hello my esteemed students to the second part of lesson number 8 which talks about lasers Today we will continue talking about lasers I want to reread the text about lasers and then we do the practices and ex exercises related to this lesson. Number one, an ordinary light source such as a torch produces many different waves wavelengths of light that go off in all directions. A laser, however, is able to generate light waves of a single length or lens tip with each other and all traveling in the same direction. This makes laser light pure in color and extremely intense. In this way, a laser produces a very narrow beam of light of single color. The same laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. The idea of stimulated emission came from the famous scientist Albert Einstein. He suggested in 1917 that lasers would work. But it wasn't until 1960 that Theodore My Maiman made the first working laser. He used ruby crystals as a medium. A year later, the Iranian-American Ali Javan produced a gas laser. And in 1966, the first liquid laser was constructed. Lasers use crystal such as ruby as the medium or they have a tube which contains a gas or liquid. The diagram above shows the operation of neon helium gas laser, an electrical discharge or flash of bright light gives extra energy to some of the atoms in the medium. The atoms lose this energy by giving out light. Because the waves of light are produced in the same way in every atom, all the waves of light are identical. Mirrors at each end of the laser send the light backwards and forwards so and so more and more atoms are triggered into sending out light. Light escapes through one of the mirrors, either as a steady beam or as a pulse, depending on the type of laser. Lasers have a wide range of uses. In supermarkets, laser beams read the barcodes on the things you buy. Compact discs, disc pliers also use lasers. The player picks up pulses of light reflected from the surface of discs. Pulses of the laser light can also be used to send telephone signals along long distances through optical fibers. Lasers are also used by doctors. They can burn away birthmarks and some cancer cells they are also used in every in eye surgery and finally the military use laser to guide missiles to their targets in factories lasers are used as very powerful and very precise knives which can cut through metals glass and even cloth Lasers can also be used to create 3D images called holograms. Now after reading this text, let's answer 
the previous questions the question was read the text on lasers commonly the paragraphs with the headings in the books there are three extra headings given here we have the first one number a uses of lasers number b lasers in the future three or number c the laser beam number d holograms e how a laser works f albert einstein g the history of lasers and at the same time we have four paragraphs yes number one has the title of the laser beam which is number c the second paragraph has the title yeah the history of lasers it has number g what about the third paragraph number three we can link it with number e i mean how a laser works and finally number four talks about uses of lasers number a now let's do something else let's move to our workbook and do exercise number a read again the text in exercise number d on course book page number 73 yeah here we have read this text then mark the sentences t for true or f for false correct the false sentences in your notebook Let's read the sentences first of all. Number one, laser light waves all have the same wavelength and all the travel, all travel in the same direction. Number two, Albert Einstein constructed the first laser. Three, the medium used by laser can be either a solid or a liquid. 4. When atoms give out light, they gain energy. 5. Lasers have mirrors at either end to reflect the light. 6. Light escapes from the laser alley as a continuous beam. 7. Lasers are used in communication technology. Number 8. Lasers can be used to cut hard materials such as metal, but not soft materials. <laughs> now let's see the answers in front of us. The first sentence. The first sentence here is true. Yeah. So, laser light waves all have the same wavelength and all travel in the same direction this sentence is true number two albert einstein constructed the first laser no it's false he suggested the idea of stimulating emission but he didn't construct the first laser three the medium used by lasers can be either a solid or a liquid. No, it's false. It can be solid, liquid, or a gas. Number four. When atoms give out light, they gain energy. Also, this sentence is false because atoms lose energy when they give, when they give out light. Number five. Lasers have mirrors at either end of to reflect the light yes it's true number six light escapes from the laser alley as a continuous beam no it's false it escapes as a continuous beam or a pulse seven lasers are used in communication technology yes it's true number eight lasers can be used to cut hard materials such as metal but not soft materials it's false they can you cut soft and 
hard materials so they can cut soft materials such as cloth now let's move to practice number B match the underlined words match the underlined words from the text in exercise number D on course book page number 73 to the definitions below yeah number one exactly the same exactly the same number two very concentrated very concentrated three accurate or exact four means or represents five something which is given out six started or set off seven long very thin pieces of trans transparent material and number eight deep red precious stone yeah let's do it here are the answers number one exactly or the same identical it means identical to two very concentrated extremely intense three accurate or exact means precise number four means or represents stands for five something which is giving out this charge number six started or set off triggered number seven long or very thin pieces of transparent material optical fibers and in deep fried precious stone it's ruby now by doing this exercise number B on page number 41 in unit 6 in our workbooks my students we can conclude this lesson study it hard please and that was your time and finally I wanna wish you good future see you in the following lesson and goodbye